racing is best when shared with others. On track, everyone's ambition is to be the fastest and outperform your competitors. Therefore, racing games are predestined to be played online, which is why the multiplayer mode of any new game is of utmost importance. But which game delivers the best online experience? There's only one way to find out. Talking about sim racing is fun because no opinion is objectively correct nor completely false. You guys seem to love getting involved as well, which is why we again asked you for your opinion online. Last time around, we talked about the best force feedback, and if you missed that, you can find the video on our channel to catch up. But back to today. This time, we asked you which game delivers the best online experience, and again, your answers were brilliant. Also, don't forget to get subscribed to this channel so you can share your opinion next time around. 1,339 people cast their vote and made their voices heard on this thought-provoking topic. What's clear is that online modes need certain features to nurture the needs of us sim racers. We want stable servers and a good UI to find matches with ease. We want to compete with drivers of roughly the same skill and see unsportsmanlike behaviour punished. We need goals we can achieve on our journey. So let's take a look at how you feel about current online racing titles and which one will be crowned the king of multiplayer. Yeah, we know. This one is kind of a far stretch to put on a list about the best online multiplayer. Assetto Corsa has some real problems regarding safety in races, track limits and overall goals to achieve. If you go for a spin on one of the many still active open lobbies in the server browser, more often than not, you end up as a crumpled sheet of metal in T1. Kind regards from Monza at this point. But that doesn't mean there's no fair and fun racing in the game. It's just much harder to find. The biggest plus of AC is still the immense variety of content through modding, which can provide almost every track and car combination imaginable. And not only those, there are even mods and services to enhance the online racing experience, like the Sim Racing System, Sim Racing GP, or community races from bigger YouTubers like Gamer Muscle, for example. Let's take a look at Sim Racing System, as it's one of the most well-known websites to find exciting and fair races in a set of Corsa. Yes, the SRS also has some downsides as well. The number of competitions is limited to one race per hour, and the registration process is messy. But overall, this is one way to get some really exciting races in AC. The service uses many high-quality mods, and even comes with a slimmed-down ranking and safety rating system. So if you're only after pure driving fun and don't want to spend extra money on a subscription, maybe take another look at Assetto Corsa. In our poll, AC wasn't all that popular with you, which we can fully understand. But if you already own the game and like the way it handles, SRS or SGP might make it your new favourite online sim. Next up is the often forgotten free-to-play title Race Room Racing Experience and in our opinion, that's a real shame. 3% on YouTube and 7.4% on Twitter cast their votes for the Swedish-developed racing sim from Sector 3 Studios. And yes, it faced tough competition, but we think that R3E is often overlooked when it comes to the sim racing genre and that many players don't know what they're missing. The online multiplayer is a good example of that, as it's the only game on this list that features a true safety rating system with incident points and an online rating comparable to iRacing. The safety rating makes playing R3E online such great fun, because driving like a donkey will be punished and can lead to being ruled out of a race if you collect too many incident points. Those systems in place make the multiplayer truly rewarding and provide a clear goal to work on. Combined with the luscious roster of cars and tracks, Race Room is a blast to play online. Since all ranked servers are hosted by the game directly and are not open lobby style like in ACC for example, the competition runs much fairer and with fewer chances who go for the win in T1. Okay, to be fair, as there's no real matchmaking but rather a mandatory rating gatekeeping the better servers, racing is not as close as it could be. But all the systems for that are in place and maybe with a growing player base this could possibly become a reality in the future. 
Anyhow, we like Race Room and think that more of you guys should give it a spin, especially because of the fantastic online experience. As mentioned at the beginning, this is not the first time we asked you your opinion about interesting sim racing questions. In the past, Assetto Corsa Competizioni was always your favourite no matter what, which came as no surprise to us as we feature a lot of ACC content on this channel. In fact, I heard that Jardier is getting himself ready for a glorious return soon, so make sure to check out his channel and all the ingenious videos he's already done with us like his overview of the best GT4 cars. All the more unexpected was that ACC didn't win you over this time, with 37% of the votes on YouTube and 36% on Twitter, it only came in second in our poll, and it was a tough point of contention in the comments section. Many of you just love the game and are delighted with the gameplay and even the graphics. There's no doubt in the community that ACC is the front runner in many categories in sim racing, but when it comes to online play, the Italian AC successor lacks in many departments. Kunos tried something different in their way of rewarding players for online participation and went for a pretty in-depth rating system that analyzes many different aspects of driving. An overall rating system and a safety rating are also part of this, but sadly, they don't play a significant role when it comes to matchmaking. You see, all competitions are held in open lobby style servers, which leads to chaotic races where the only thing keeping players from joining is a safety rating number that can also be gained in offline play. Better drivers won't get a reward for winning or competing fairly, as chances can simply hop on the single player after an online rampage tour and farm their rating back up to what it used to be. Don't get me wrong, we've had tons of fun online so far in ACC, especially on well-organised races like endurance competitions from various sim racing communities, but the core online racing in Competizioni falls short of expectations, which is a shame because everything is in place for a much deeper experience. Before we move on to your number one online racing title, we have to take a look at your honourable mentions. For example, F1 2020 and AMS2 were mentioned for their simple way of hosting your own online lobbies, which we thought was a nice change of pace. However, the most recommended game in the other section was the PS4 Classic GT Sport, which seems to have struck a chord with you guys on many levels. What we like about Gran Turismo is that you're well introduced to the concepts of sportsmanship and fair play. Rating and safety rating make GT Sports the best online multiplayer for a console today, and that, of course, is worth a mention. But now we move on to your number one, the king of online play, iRacing. Hardly any game in the sim racing genre knows how to polarise quite like the all-conquering online racer. Yes, there's criticism about the high prices for tracks, cars and the subscription model, about lazy and slow development, an outdated physics engine and low-res FFB. But in terms of online multiplayer, nothing comes close to the experience iRacing can give you. With a whopping 40% on YouTube and 56% on Twitter, iRacing is your clear number one when it comes to the best online experience. And we can't hold that against you. The way the game handles safety and overall rating is just superb. The servers run smoothly and are well organised, there's tons of stuff to do, and the licensing classes feel like a real career mode that rewards you for continuous play. Unsportsmanlike behaviour is punished severely with the incident points and matchmaking leads to races where not just two to three guys are the same skill level as you, but rather all the racers competing in the same lobby. Anyone who wants to rank up in iRacing always has to beat their personal best to rise in the ranks, compared to other games where sitting behind faster drivers, waiting for them to make more mistakes than you, is often the superior strategy. And what's clear is that not everyone can afford to play iRacing due to its immense monthly costs but those who can afford it are certainly in the best place possible to enjoy some hard-fought, rewarding online races. And that's it for today. What do you guys think is the best online racing experience? Did we miss a game that you adore playing over the net? Let us know down below what you think. For more esports racing content in general, visit overtake.gg or our YouTube and other social channels. Thanks for having me, and until next time, 
Cheers.